Hey guys, this video will be a little bit different than my usual videos. Not so much instructional, just kind of a reaction video to the uh, CrossFit Regionals that just wrapped up over the last couple of weekends. And I just want to highlight a couple of the really cool achievements that came out of the weekend. All right, so number five, Josh Bridges. Man, that dude is crazy. He barely qualified for his regionals. He actually only got to go because like five or six people decided to go team. So otherwise he wouldn't even been there. And then he not goes, only goes in, but he goes in there and he kills it and qualifies for the games. He turns down a master's invite just without even thinking about it, just knowing like never a master's, I'm going to the games as an individual and delivers on it. And speaking of qualifying, Zeke Grove out of the Pacific region, he was not even in the final heat for the last event. So he was in the third heat, comes in, wins the event from the third heat, jumps so many spots that he ends up qualifying in the fifth position and tying Becca Voigt for the largest comeback on the final day and qualifying for the games. So if you haven't seen it, it's a really cool announcement to go watch because he's literally like off in a corner thinking he didn't make it and then they call his name and he just loses his mind. Speaking of Becca Voigt, there were two athletes that are making their 10th trip to the game. Becca is incredible given she actually didn't make it last year and decided to go as a Masters and all of us are kind of like, eh, not surprising. She's 35, how do you keep cutting in with some of these young guys? But then to come back after a year where she's had some issues and whatnot, but she comes back at 36, qualifies, fifth spot as a Masters athlete, going to the games as an individual. Just awesome and 10 years is just a bit mind boggling to think of the consistency over that period of time, especially for an athlete of her age. Compare that to Ben Smith, who I happen to share a birthday with, so recently passed, happy birthday Ben. Uh, he's going for the 10th time too, and but his are consecutive, which is pretty neat. And that just also goes to speak like, in a sport where people are always talking about injuries this, injuries that, yeah, you can't compete at a high level without injuries. Not to say Ben's been injury clean, but I mean, 10 years of the games, he's consistently finishing in the top 10 people. I mean, wins the games a couple years ago. Just an enormous achievement. I'm excited to see what he'll do at the games because uh, it's not always been that his regional performance has exactly been how his games performance goes. He got like fourth at the regionals when he won the game. So we'll see what happens. Ben and his brother both made it, which leads me to my next moment, which comes out of the central region where Saxon Panchik and Scott Panchik qualified for the games. Uh, really cool, you know, we've seen those two compete last year. I actually went and watched them at regionals. It was a lot of fun. But their brother Spencer was also there competing this year. And uh, so they're kind of running almost like parallel to the Smith brothers with all three of them competing at regionals. But they were both just barely out of qualifying and in that last event they crushed it and both jumped into qualifying in the fourth and fifth positions. If you haven't watched that video, put a link to it down below uh, with a time stamp on it so you can go watch it because I mean I thought Scott was just gonna crush Saxon when they hugged. It would be really cool to see Saxon compete as a rookie at the games and see if Scott can finally make that push for the podium that we've been expecting out of him for years. And my last one is for the guy that came out on top, number one out of everybody across all regions, Patrick Vellner. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say Matt Frazier, didn't you? But I'm not, because if you go online, look at the leaderboard, you'll see that across all regions, Patrick Vellner actually beat Matt Frazier. And this is mainly due to the fact that Matt got like 81st on the first event out of all regional competitors and then went on to set three event records and I think like fourth place in the other couple events. Do I think Matt is probably the odds on favorite to win the games? Yes, yes I do. But it's cool to see somebody like Vellner who I'm a huge fan, I think he's just a fun guy, do so well. And to do it on the first weekend, which people don't often think about is that like those people competing on weekend number one they don't get to see everybody else's strategy or see the other times to beat or any of that kind of stuff. So he came out on the first weekend, put up some incredible performances, dominated the East Regional, and really comes out on top across the board. One other note is that that leaderboard is scored more like open style as opposed to regional points because there's far more than 40 competitors uh, that they're analyzing that list. So I understand that Matt's score would actually beat Vellner's if they kind of did it that way but still really fun little stat and something to look forward to 
on a men's competition, starting to look a little lopsided. Uh, now, given no injuries, God forbid, I hope all the athletes head to the games healthy. But across the board, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I can watch a lot more of the men's performances. A lot of the women's were really incredible. Tia Claire Toomey, Carl Webb, they're just gonna battle it out again. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, I was really excited to see Annie do so well in the Europe Regional too, because it just kind of shows that her third place wasn't like a fluke out of nowhere. Uh, uh, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun to see the women. It's gonna be really tight. The men, it, I'm hoping it's a bit more competition than it was last year to keep it interesting, but we'll see. See what happens. That's why you run the race. So, appreciate you guys watching this. If you want more videos, we're talking kind of about the sport of CrossFit. I, I love to talk about it, uh, but I'm not sure if that's something that you guys are interested in. Uh, I'll be glad to make them if you wanna watch them. So, drop a comment down below. And uh, also let me know what some of your favorite mo moments were if they were different than these. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.